I welcome you all to Messiah Revelation Ministry. Uh, we are End Time Ministry. And in today's video, we are focusing on um, the um, vaccination uh, passports. As you are aware, as a result of um, the C-19, uh, nations uh, are preparing for vaccination uh, passports. So this video is focusing on vaccination uh, passports. And um, at the time of making uh, uh, this video, uh, several nations uh, have advanced uh, policy on requiring vaccination uh, passports. They include um, Israel, um, it, it also includes uh, Saudi Arabia and Singapore. They are nations that have national health systems, comprehensive national systems, and they are also uh, making plans for uh, vaccination uh, passports, and they are making policies related to uh, the COVID-19 and vaccination passports. Uh, those nations, of course, include uh, United Kingdom and also uh, Israel, nations that have uh, national health systems and they are making some mandatory policies relating to um, um, COVID-19. And you also see uh, companies uh, that are heavily involved uh, in vaccination related programs and they are um, campaigning for vaccination uh, passports and uh, I turn your attention to the United States and two um, uh, um, companies are leading uh, the drive towards vaccination passports. These are IT related companies and they are also have related uh, companies. So two groups of companies, companies that are IT oriented and companies that are health uh, related. In the United States, uh, they are uh, on the forefront uh, for the call for vaccination uh, passports. And when I talk about tech companies, remember the vision that I had um, I've already done a video about it, and in that vision, I saw two tech-related companies, and they were associated with Soros Corporation. And I, I interpreted that to mean that um, George Soros um, has connections with um, uh, two uh, major technology companies and the names were not revealed in the in the vision but in practical terms you will see that when we at, when we are talking about vaccination uh, uh, passports um, they are being uh, led the discussions are led by uh, technology companies and vaccination passports are also supported by people like uh, George Soros. Um, they are interested in a um, borderless uh, world. They are interested in a uh, free movement of people and ideas. And they are also interested in um, policies um, that will be universal relating to a uh, pandemic, relating to vaccinations and relating to uh, vaccination uh, passports. Uh, if you look at the European Union uh, with over uh, 20 nations uh, together, uh, they are also um, talking about vaccination passports. They started talking about vaccination uh, passports um, uh, uh, since the advent of um, COVID-19. And you also, uh, don't forget um, ID2020 uh, initiative by Bill Gates, who is also an IT and expert. And then the Gavi Initiative, Global Alliance for Vaccinations and um, Immunization. Global Alliance for Vaccination and Immunization. Uh, Bill Gates is connected with that uh, organization. Uh, Bill Gates is also connected with ID2020 uh, Initiative. The ID2020 initiative is, um, is striving for um, giving IDs to everybody living 
uh, on the planet and the Gavi Initiative Global Alliance for um, Vaccinations and Immunization, Gavi, and they are also um, working towards global immunization uh, systems. And when we're talking about vaccination and vaccination passports, um, it could also lead to tension in the global system. Now, which vaccination passport is better? Is it the one that will be produced by Chinese? Or is it the one that will be recommended by Russia? Or is it the one that will be recommended by the United States? So there's a geopolitical tension, and that is also associated with vaccination passports. Um, if China proposes a vaccination passport, will it be accepted? accepted by Americans. Uh, if Americans uh, propose a vaccination passport as a condition for travel, will it be accepted by the Russians and the Chinese? And you can also see that uh, uh, there will be a time where the world will be divided into two, the halves and the half not. The halves are those who will have vaccination passports and and the half nodes will be those who don't have uh, vaccination passports. And how will nations treat them? Uh, how will businesses uh, treat them, those who don't have vaccination uh, passports? The world is going to be divided into two, segregation based upon who have vaccination passports and those who do not have vaccination passports. And those who do not have will be denied access to um, medical benefits, to uh, bank loans, to housing, uh, to airplanes, and even to entertainment centers. So a time will be coming. And definitely, when people are talking about vaccination passports, it will not be temporary. It will be a permanent aspect of society, and it will change the world. And definitely, I know that it will be a precursor for the coming um, mark um, of the beast or the cis 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 system. Uh, it's something that if you if you don't have, you cannot buy, you cannot sell, and it will fulfill the um, the prophecy in the book of Revelation, uh, particularly chapter 13, where it is stated that if you don't have the mark of the beast, you cannot sell, uh, you cannot buy. And if you also have it, then uh, you'll be cast into the lake of fire. So this video is an overview of the, um, the vaccination passports idea and how it is being uh, championed over the world, the purpose of that passports, and the companies behind it, the nations behind the vaccination passports, and the prophetic implications of the vaccination uh, passports, and their role in laying the groundwork for the ultimate mark of the beast um, that will cause millions, I believe billions of people uh, being cast into the lake of fire. If you have not accepted uh, Jesus as your Lord and Savior, this is the time for you to do so. When you hear about vaccination passport, please be aware that it is an end time event. And these are events that were seen by Apostle John in the island of Patmos. Uh, even though he could not describe it as uh, we have seen it, but you are living at a time where prophecy is being fulfilled in your own, before your own eyes. So take heed that we are in the last of days, uh, the last of days, and the end of days, and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Thank you for this message.